When to use a dupe. Presented by Zero to Pro Training .com. In this video, we will talk about when to use Hadoop. Hadoop has earned its reputation as big data analytics engine. There is a lot of hype around Hadoop these days. This mistakenly leads some people to think that Hadoop could do anything. But, an open source distributed processing framework is not a right choice in every situation. It needs to be carefully evaluated when to use Hadoop, and, when not to. Hadoop definitely has a lot of horsepower, to process large amounts of unstructured, or semi-structured, data. However, it cannot process, smaller data sets, with high speed. Hadoop is usually used to process large, distributed data, where time is not a constraint. For example, running end of the day reports, or scanning historical data, going back several periods. But, when it comes to real time processing, Hadoop will not fly. Hadoop is optimized to run batch jobs, that look at every file, in a database. This ability, comes with a trade off. In order to make deep connections, between data points, speed is sacrificed. Because of the speed factor, Hadoop has limited value, in online environments, where fast performance, is an important requirement. Some companies might be tempted, to replace the traditional data warehouses, with Hadoop clusters, thinking that Hadoop would have a lower total cost of ownership, being an open source software. In reality, this might not be necessarily true. Hadoop and data warehouse systems, are apples and oranges, in comparison. The relational databases can easily absorb trickles of data, that come in periodically, at a steady rate. For example, daily or weekly. However, Hadoop is best suited to process, vast stores of accumulated data. Hadoop is typically used in large-scale projects, that requires clusters of servers. Hadoop uses the MapReduce software programming framework. Specialized development skills are needed, which are possessed by limited numbers of developers. This increases the overall implementation's cost, even though, the cost per unit, of data, may be lower than the relational databases. One realistic example, of when to use Hadoop is, an staging environment, that enables running extract, transform, and load functions. In such cases, the processing power of Hadoop can be utilized properly, as it can split up tasks, among numerous servers in a cluster. Using Hadoop, in staging environment, justifies initial investment in the technology. This will get its foot in the door, and later on, it could be used in larger projects, that could take full advantage of its scalability. No doubt Hadoop is a powerful tool, that could be used to run, analytical functions. However, it is still taking shape, as a technology. There are lots of gaps for improvement. For example, ability to provide real-time analysis ability to run on other types of applications, than MapReduce, etc. It is important for the decision makers, to cut through, all the hype, and to understand, where Hadoop could fit in the operations. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.